Project 1. Switches to LEDs. Let's have a quick project overview. This is by far the easiest FPGA project that you can do on a development board. In this project we are going to design a Verilog parameterizable module with N I.O. ports. I selected a default value of 4. Next we are going to do a Verilog test bench, create a model sim project and simulate our design to see if it works correctly. After this we are going to create a Quartus project, synthesize the module, connect the design with the FBGA pins and then program the DE1 SOC board. The project can be easily replicated by using any other development board based on Intel FBGAs. The project is going to work like this. The switches from the board are connected to the pins of the FPGAs. When you press a switch, it will have a logic 1 or a logic 0 value. Other FPGA pins are connected to LEDs, so when you are going to push the button, you are going to have an LED on or off. And now it's action time! Let's analyze our module ports. We have the I switch port, which is an input of 4 bit, and the OLED output, which is an output of 4 bit. This is as easy as it can be. Please make a new file called switches to LEDs.v with the following content. Now I will briefly explain the Verilog code. At line 25 we declare the module name, then we have a parameter which has a default value of 4. Next we declare the input and the output. Next at line 33 we use a continuous assignment to connect the output with the input of the module. This is it. Now please make a new file called tb switches to leds.v with the following content. We first declare the time scale and after this we have the test bench which is also a module. Next we declare our test bench variables. We have first a parameter, next the i switch variable and the OLED variable. These are going to be connected with our design when we instantiate it. We use the reg type for the inputs and the wire type for the outputs. At line 28 we instantiate the design. We connect the parameters together and next the module ports with the test bench variables. At line 36 we have our test scenario. We have an initial procedure and after this we use dollar monitor to see how the input and the output behave. Next, at every microsecond, we change the value of the input of the switch. This pattern should easily test all our four bits. You can add extra patterns if you want to play with the simulation. At line 43, we stop the simulation. Let's now run this in model sim. Please create a new folder with the following structure. In the RTL folder we are going to put our Verilog sources. In the sim folder we are going to create the model sim project. And in the send folder we are going to create the Quartus project. Now press start and open model sim. After a few seconds you should be able to see this. We expand it. Next we press file, change directory, we select switches to LEDs and click on the sim folder. Please ignore this warning as it won't affect you for this project. Next we press file, new, project, we simply type here project. The project location is already set because we did the change folder step earlier and we press OK. We press on add existing file, browse, press here and go into the RTL folder. Select both and open. OK, close. Now we compile the Verilog files. 
we see that the compile finished successfully. And now we start the simulation. Simulate, start simulation. We expand the work library and next we select TB switches to LEDs. It should open like this. Next we select these two and drag and drop them over here. After this we press here and next we press run all. You can see how the stop command finished the simulation. Next we click here on the wave and then we press on zoom full. And this is what our test bench really did. It changed the I switch variable to 0, 4, 10, 5 and then 10 again. You can play with these patterns as you like. If you don't see the wave, you should press on view and select wave. You see? Now, if we look in the console, we can see what happened in the wave being printed over here. This is it. Now we simulated our design's behavior. Next, we are going to do the Quartus project. If you like this tutorial and you are interested in an easy path for learning Verilog for FPGA or ASIC design and verification, I gladly recommend you my course Verilog HDL Fundamentals for Digital Design and Verification. You can find the link in the video description. For more tutorials and support, you can join our Facebook community. Your strong Verilog foundation is only one click away.